Architecture is a fantastic combination of sociology and philosophy and making and the future and the past and it became in my mind uh, a, a wonderful uh, possibility of being able to make and think and watch people and merge in st uh, structure with culture. The site um, the Marshall Building is on uh, was previously occupied by Laboratories for Cancer Research UK. When the site came to the market, we just had to have it, given its location uh, on Lincolnson Fields, it would be a new front door for us. We were very aware of that the first move becomes the project. To kick things off, we started with an international design competition. Uh, which Grafton uh, won uh, w with a, the scheme which is very similar to what you see now in this building. Uh, I think it inspired the imagination of the LSE to show that we could actually get a sort of seminal, serious university building on this site. And the first move was to make what we called subsequently a free space, which would connect the wonderful intense streets of what is the university, the, the university spills onto the streets and we loved that and that somehow that it would make something which would transition into the generosity of Lincoln's Inn Fields and that that would be a space for the citizen of London as much as a space for the university. I had the privilege to be on the judging panel for this building. I really enjoyed the process I and mean, I particularly liked meeting Grafton architects. They were so non-corporate and warm. I really like the design shred process. Um, I find it sort of very engaging, uh, very collaborative uh, and it gets us into the process much earlier rather than waiting for uh, a submission of a design stage and then you comment on it and it goes back that way. If you go right from the start working with the architects, uh, I think it saves time but I think it also adds much more create creativity. There is sport, there's um, there's the entrance hall, what we call the great hall, there's teaching and there's research. So it's like there's four different worlds stacked on top of each other. And the thing of sport on the lower ground with this need for a huge span uh, led to this idea of the ground floor being the transfer structure between the big span of the lower level and the smaller and smaller spans of the uses uh, up above. We looked at various structural solutions for this building. Uh, we have some big spans to take care of. Uh, so we couldn't have done those in timber, uh, so you've then got a choice between steel and concrete. Uh, the concrete, uh, we have got a, a high proportion of recycled material uh, within it, and so overall um, this building actually virtually gets to the Letty standard uh, that's been set after this building was uh, actually commissioned. One of the, the fantastic things that uh, was an opportunity, 55 metres onto Lincoln's Inn's fields and also if you like of the tide of LSE moving forward towards this beautiful um, historic public space that the, the surface, what is that surface actually becoming part of, the, this kind of linear uh, north container of Lincoln's Inn's fields and for us uh, beautiful buildings like the Doge's Palace in, in Venice become something that every time you pass it in Venice you think how beautiful it is. So we looked at the, the, the composition of the Doge's Palace, the proportions. So here this is in a way maybe palace is too a big a word but, but we really treated it with that kind of respect. Students have been considered and student needs have been at the forefront of the design straight from the beginning and there's been so much consultation with the students union, with different stakeholders, different departments about what do we need and what will build a community at LSE. Um, do we need you know, more spaces for students to do Zoom courses for example, which is what we've started to need now. And it just means that the building itself is very functional and user friendly. And it's also just a lovely place to be with all the natural light and the kind of look onto Lincoln and Fields. It's my favourite place now to study on campus, for sure. We felt if we could use this screen to somehow capture light, whether it's coming from the south or the west or the east, and transmit it to this north-facing uh, edge, that the building would feel better. Because the way a building feels is it's, it's to do with the design and the composition, but it's also to do with whether it feels warm or cold, 
and the color, or sometimes even the temperature. So uh, this idea of it being a screen, uh, which you could say is contradictory because it's facing north, but it was about a screen to capture the light, not to protect from the light. It doesn't feel at all brutalist. To me, it feels very um, cosy almost and designed to encourage um, human interaction. There is a, an amazing ingredient, I think, in the LSE, is the streetscape and students, the confidence with, with which the students of the LSE kind of claim the public space. They're in and out of the, of the buildings and they're using the streets of London as part of their own education. So the building, this new building, is really trying to also, uh, if, if you like, uh, have a surface that welcomes that, not just the doors to enter. There's been a lot of public interest from the building was being built and watching it go up. Um, we've had a lot of um, st other students from, you know, various places. We've even had people come in and said, oh, I'm from, you know, Australia or I'm from America and I love this building. Can we just have a little peep in and see what it's like? And, um, you know, we're not just talking people who are interested in architecture, we're talking general public. We've had students from primary school and secondary schools in London come in to use the sports hall and when they come in they're so amazed, they think it's so cool, especially that it's in you know, central London. And also when we have our books competitions against other universities, I think they're always quite impressed by our new facilities and the LSE, we're not necessarily known for our sporting abilities, but it's quite cool to have you know, wonderful facilities on campus. And our teams have actually done a lot better, funnily enough. The biggest accolade for me is the reactions of staff students and I was taking round a, a journalist from the American um, publication Architectural Record and I was stood outside the building extolling its virtues uh, and then one of our professors came up to me completely ad hoc and said Julian oh you've done an amazing job and it's obviously not my job but you've done an amazing job this is building is incredible I love teaching in it the space is odd world-class etc etc I'm thinking I couldn't have scripted this better um, I then go into the building um, and a student, random student, comes up to me and says to him, oh, well, sorry, have you got something to do with this building? Uh, and I said, oh, well, a bit. Uh, and he said, oh, well, I just wanted to let you know. He said, uh, the way it makes me feel is incredible. It feels a really special space. I love studying here. All the talking and all the discussions have to, at some point, be turned into bricks and mortar, be into space. And that's what's amazing. We, architecture is the kind of cradle of humanity. It's what holds people.